Rachel Dolezal, the white Spokane civil rights leader who was caught masquerading as a black woman, has now resigned as president of the NAACP. Her tale of using disguises to lead a double life has made international news, but actually got its start as a story in the Coeur d'Alene press. KXY4's Jeff Humphrey spoke with a reporter who uncovered the truth about Dolezal's real ethnic background. Jeff? His name is Jeff Sally, and he and his editors were worried that a rash of hate crimes that Rachel Dolezal was reporting in Coeur d'Alene might not be legit. When Rachel told police the same type of racial harassment was happening after she moved to Spokane, KXY4 News and the Coeur d'Alene Press decided to take a closer look. So just for the record, Rachel Dolezal is your birth daughter? That's yes. correct. Why did you decide to go public and challenge her claims to be black? We were contacted by the Coeur d'Alene Press. The story that's dominated yeah. even network Never news like Good Morning America might not have ever been told if not for veteran reporter Jeff Sally. I got all the police reports that she had filed in Coeur d'Alene and found out that none of them actually were resolved. And, and a lot of them, uh, you know, were, were pretty pretty curious. Sally was also curious about rumblings he had heard that Dolezal wasn't even African-American, especially after she posted pictures of this man Dolezal claimed was her father. We were finding all kinds of stuff that didn't add up. We laid it all out on the table, took a look at it, and said, we got a story here. A story that might not have even been relevant if not for the fact that Dolezal was rising to the top of the civil rights movement here in Spokane and continuing to report to police that she had been the victim of hate crimes. You know, when they're using a false premise to achieve greatness and power, I think it's our job as watchdogs to, to uh, point that out. And so the day before Sally published his story, we asked Dolezal questions about the man she had claimed to be her dad. Are you African American? I don't, I don't understand the question of, I did tell you that yes, that's my dad. Dolezal stuck to her story, giving Sally an answer to his. And that really helped val validate my story, um, having her acknowledge that a picture of Albert Wilkerson was actually her father, um, and to get that lie on the record was, was spectacular. Sally's work on this story no doubt intended to sell papers, but mostly to set the record straight about someone who had made it seem like North Idaho's hate crimes were making a comeback when they really weren't. You know, these things tend to catch up with you, don't they, Jeff? They it certainly do. Lasted quite a few years, though, in the Inland Northwest before they did. And Jeff really sunk her boat, too. Yeah, well, so did you. Thanks so much.